All right, welcome to Jasper Active Lesson 6, Learn 3, Using Table Styles. We'll first want to make sure we're in Office 2016, Microsoft Word 2016 Core. I'll click on that, and that takes me to my Lesson Selector. I click on Lesson 6, and Using Table Styles, third one down. You'll notice uh, I didn't nail this one with 100%, so there's an X there. I've already done it, so I can click on Practice. You can redo any of the lessons by clicking Practice. I'll click on Continue, and then the lesson will pop up. I'm going to go back here and deselect the ones that I completed. All right, I'm on uh, step one. It says with the Saturday course schedule document open, uh, which it is, I'm going to select row one, column one. So the easiest way is to position my cursor to the left of the cell so that I have a white cursor versus a black cursor. So I have a white cursor and I use my left mouse button, click once. And then it says, make sure I'm on the home tab and I'm gonna bump over here uh, on the home ribbon and click on the center. All right, it's important to follow the directions closely because it asks you to click on this versus going control E. This time it does want us to go control B, so I'll use my left pinky finger and hold the control key down and I'll touch the B to bold it. Uh, and that will bold it and then I'm going to use the font selector size and bump down to 20. I'm going to mark that as answered and then I move on to apply a table style. So in this case it wants me to uh, uh, click on the right edge of the table and drag it approximately to the 6 inch mark. So I'm going to grab the right edge of the table, I click on the document someplace and I kind of hover right over that line so I get a double headed arrow. I'll make it a little larger here. And I'm going to hover right over the edge there and I'm going to drag this over so that this pyramid right up in this area, that little white pyramid is right on six. You can see it bumps back and forth. That's it right there. Now notice how this third column is a little wider. That's what it's saying here. Uh, so uh, it could be too wide. So uh, the next two steps will ask us to adjust the other two columns. So I notice I have one, two, three uh, things exposed here. Oh, and by the way, if you don't have the ruler exposed, don't forget to click on view and click on ruler. All right, so it's asking us to bump this over by a half inch. So I have one, two, three things exposed here. I'm going to come down and grab this column uh, line right here. And I'm going to bump this over so that I have one, two, th three things exposed, three marks, and just a little bit more. That's going to be a half inch over. And uh, the next step uh, I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to select the second column and I'm going to bump this over by a half inch. So I have one, two, three things exposed here, three marks. Uh, so I'm going to bump this over one, two, three, and a little bit more. Okay, so under the table tools, okay, so uh, it says to click design tab and okay so under the table tools right up here I click on the design tab and then uh, I click on the table styles group and the more button so the more button is kind of hidden right up in here I'm gonna click on the more button okay and then uh, it says uh, to ensure there are no previous styles that could be uh, uh, that could change the table style, click clear. So make sure you're in the table someplace, click on design, and then click on more, and you're gonna go down to clear. All right, so there we go. That removes all the grid there. And then it says to select the table styles gallery again. And I'm gonna click here on more, and it says to go to grid table four, Grid Table 4, Accent 2 to apply the style. Okay, so that takes care of that step. I'm going to mark that as answered. 
then I'm going to go to the next step. Now try making some adjustments to a longer form. So uh, I'm going to uh, go to File, Open. I have to click twice, once to activate Word and change the focus. And then I'm going to go to Open. And I click on Browse. And I navigate to my Jasper Active folder. I'm going to click on Resource Files. And remember, all the forms and files that you may need are always in the resource file. Uh, and then we save everything in My Projects, if we have to save anything. There we go. So that is open. Next step, I'm going to apply a table style. It says, with the cursor on the application for employment title. OK. Uh, so I've clicked there, um, uh, right in that area. Um, I'm going to click on the Layout tab up here. And then I'm going to click on Repeat Row Headers. OK. Um, and that's in the data group. So I look over data here, and it's repeat row headers. OK. Now it asks us to scroll, so I can just use my roller button. And what they want to do is see that application for employment is at the top of the next page, which it is. It was not there before. So that has taken care of uh, that second step. It says now apply a table style so you can observe how the table style formatting attributes can change any formatting that may exist in the original document. So I'm going to still make sure that I'm up here in the title. And it says under t table tools, click on design, table tools. I click on design. And then I click on more uh, to display the gallery. Now it asked me to point to different ones here uh, to see uh, how it may uh, affect the table design. OK, so I'm going to click here and hover. Uh, for some reason, it's not applying it, but uh, we're so we're going to just bump right to uh, step five. And step five says click on grid table one light. OK, grid table one light. OK, click on that. Accent three, is that correct? Let's double check. Grid table one, uh, accent two, accent three. There we go. That's the correct one. All right. Notice how the spacing between the rows is tight. So rows uh, are these here. Notice how they're pretty tight. Well, we've noticed that. Let's bump up to the next step, down to the next step. Here we go. So click on the More button. So again, we want to just make sure that we're in the table someplace. Doesn't matter where. And then we're going to click on the Format button. OK, let's go back. Click on um, the More button again. And we're going to click on Modify Table Style. And then we're going to click on the Format button. And it says to go to Paragraph. I go to Paragraph. And then I'm going to change the spacing before, uh, change the spacing before to three point. So I use the uh, up arrow here. And I want to make this. Well, it jumps to 6 to 3, so I'm going to put in a 3. So I highlight the 6, and I touch the number 3, and then I click on OK and OK. All right, it, that adds a little space between these paragraphs, uh, excuse me, between the rows just a little bit. So uh, it's got a little bit of elbow room between them. Now it says to move to the beginning of the form, ensuring your cursor is on the first row which we are. Then click the Layout tab under the Table Tools, Table Tools, Layout tab. Uh, and then uh, it asks us to go to Data and then click on Repeat Header Rows. OK, so we've done that. We'll mark that as complete. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Show Results. And let's see how I did on this one. 
Okay, there we go. Looks like we did a good job. Good luck with yours. Remember, you can repeat the video if you need to uh, see it again. Good luck.